What's up guys? Welcome to another video. So today we're going to be looking at Hydra. We're going to be doing 10 hours of Hydra. It was a newer boss that was added. So yeah, let's jump into it. So for starters, as far as gear goes, what you're going to want is you have, there's two, there's two things you can do. So the first phase is weak to stab and the second phase is weak to range. So you can bring a um, melee stab for the first phase. The best weapon is the Dragon Hunter Lance, which is an item it drops. That is hands down the best weapon, and I would only recommend using melee if you have that weapon. I don't think a rapier is worth the time switching to it, um, because the Dragon Hunter Crossbow can do the job just as well. If you don't have a Dragon Hunter Crossbow or the Dragon Hunter Lance, I don't know if I would... I mean, you can do this boss if you really want to. It's just going to be more difficult. Um... I would bring just like armor, just bring your best range gear or stab gear. I mean, I, it's really, it's really up to you and what gear you have is the best. But what I would try to recommend is either, either using the Dragon Hunter crossbow or the Dragon Hunter lance. The crossbow is obviously way easier to get, so almost everyone should have one. And that's what we're going to be using. So you can get Slayer tasks, bring a Slayer helm, but uh, yeah, just bring your best range gear. Uh, if you do have the Dragon Hunter Lance, I would bring that and just use that. I wouldn't switch to the crossbow. I would just stick with the Dragon Hunter Lance. Uh, there is also now a damage boost where if you have the Dragon Hunter Lance and the Ferocious Gloves, you do even more damage. So if you can actually kill Hydra and get some loot, uh, it's going to make killing Hydra even <laughs> easier in the future. So that's the gear. Let's talk about how to get there. So if you're an elite member, all you have to do is colon colon Hydra. And you are teleported right here and you can start the fight. If you're not... You have to go to Hall. Go to Kong Kong Hall. Come right here. Down the manhole. This is called the Dragon Dungeon, if I ever referenced it before. And then just go south to the doors. Click doors, and you'll be in the same spot we just were. So as far as strategy goes, uh, the, the things you have to keep in mind is it has a special attack where it can take off some of your equipment. And whenever that happens, you'll see your character will say in game, uh, "What the heck? I knocked off my equipment." So you'll you'll know. Um, another attack you'll have to worry about is its poison attack. Uh, there's nothing you can do to prevent it, uh, but it does do a lot of damage. So what you can do is bring a rock feather, and just click that every time you get poison. And that way, instead of getting the you know you won't be getting the ten poisons. You'll be you'll have to keep doing it constantly throughout the fight. But um, it is an option. I personally just skip it and, and just kind of tank off the damage. Uh, so as you can see, it's in the second phase now. Once it gets below 100 health on the first phase, it switches to the second phase. This is where it's even weaker to range. So if you're bringing the range style, you should do even more damage. It also does more damage. Uh, the last special attack you have to worry about is it does uh, it, can, it can summon minions, little hydras, and they'll pop out. And You don't really have to worry about them too much. They, I mean, they do stay there and attack you, but... They don't, they're not important to kill. You can just kill the boss, and then whenever the boss is dead, you can kill it. Um, and that's it. It's a pretty simple boss. And, uh, yeah, let's do it. Ten hours from loot. The, I'm already two hours in. I just forgot to record an opening clip if you're wondering why my loot is here. So this is two hours in if you're wondering. I have not gotten a single loot, and we're at 102 KC. Hey, kill 531 Hydra heads. That is the last thing I would have wanted, but... Hey, man, I'll take it. It is a cooler-looking helm than the purple. Yo, dude, Hydra's Claw, let's go, 535, only a couple kills after, um, like, after we got the heads, four kills after we got the heads, everybody's been getting a loot, a couple yellow drops now, that is awesome, Ye, I have the lance, let's try it out now, this video, I mean, I started off just talking about range and the, the range strategies, but now that we actually have the lance, let's try out the melee strategy. So for those unfamiliar, how to make it, you should uh, have a Samuraki and Spear. Um, what you need is a Hosta, so you have to make the Hosta. I don't know how much money this is. I hope this isn't... <laughs> I think it's like 10 mil, so I don't think it's expensive. Um, but you come to Edgeville, and you're looking uh, in this house over here. You're looking for Otto. Otto, God, God, I don't, uh, yeah, God blessed. And then make Hosta. He took money. I think it was only like one. It was cheap. But uh, yeah, there we go. There is the Dragon Hunter Lance. Nice. So yeah, I think it's pretty good. Uh, it's definitely faster than than range. So if you have like, if you're if you're trying to go that route, it, oh there we go. Okay, now I'm on task. It's it's, it's definitely going to be better when I'm. Wow, that's actually pretty good. White party hat and the mace in the same loop. 
That's not bad. So yeah, this is the gear I'm using. Uh, if you do have the Ferocious Gloves, they work really well here because they work in combination with the Lance. So once we do get a Hydra, hopefully before the 1,000 kills, we should be able to just shred this thing. That's that's really the optimal setup is uh, the Dragon Hunter Lance with the gloves. Yo, what the heck, dude? Four, three kills later, we got Hydra. We just completed it, dude. That is awesome. So now I'll show you how to make the gloves. Oh, man, that's cool. These next uh, 400 kills, are, it's like, I guess there's the pet, so it's definitely going to be okay to, to like go for the 1,000, but it started off as a 10 hours, and then I was like, oh, well, we should we should just do a 1,000 then, and then we got the loot, and so now it's like, oh, we should do 10 hours, but no, nah, I'm going to stick with a 1,000. This is loot from 1,000 uh, hydras. All right, let me, uh, let me get myself together. Okay, so you just need a little bit of cash, come to Rosalo, and go needle. Why did that give me the baller shop? Did that give me the baller? It did give me the baller shop. I am not a baller. I should fix that. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, there we go. There are the ferocious gloves. Oh, that looks sick. The, the, the trio just looks sick together. The helmet, the gloves, the lance. Nah. Yo, what the heck? Hydra Claw 561. That's another one. I could actually sell this for a nice little chunk of money, and I'm definitely going to. Hey, there we go. Hydra's Claw. That is our third one. 9.33. We are almost done. Uh, nice. Yeah, that's definitely... I think... I don't know which one's worth more. Is the claw worth more than the leather, or is the leather worth more? Either way, I'll take it. So, yeah, that happened. Um, on Kill 9.82, we got the Alchemical Hydra Heads, and we're actually doing a double drop day. Um, it's not every single drop is doubled, but you have a chance of it being doubled, and I actually got the heads doubled. Uh, so yeah, that's fun, but I guess for the official count, there's only one one extra one <laughs> All right guys, this is kill 1000 Woo! <laughs> that took way longer than it should have I should have just kept it 10 hours, but whatever I did I did it You know what I did it. All right. Yeah, you can kind of see what's in the inventory. We'll go over that now um, Let me um Show you. Let me show you the inventory. So we've got these are all the bolts. I did use a couple out of awesome mass. Um, so add a couple. <laughs> uh, Forty-eight mystery boxes. I probably gave all. So a couple of these might have been there. But if you were to do ten hours, that would probably happen anyway. So you know, or uh, you know, it's not guaranteed. But just keep that with the grain of salt. Uh, One hundred twenty magic seeds. So a good chunk of dragon knives. Um, I'll go. I'll put this. Uh, I'll put this stuff in there, and then we'll go over that in a second. That's where most of the things are kept. Okay, let's go to the bank, because there is some stuff in the bank. We have a hundred, wow, exactly a hundred uh, unidentified large fossils. That is funny. So it's one in ten. It's a one in ten chance you're going to get in it. That's, that's really funny. I did miss some bones or just buried them because I needed food or space or something like that. But I, I tried to get most of them just for the sake of having them. They actually do have value, I believe. Did I do that this update? I don't know if I did that this update. I think I did. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I'm just going to sell them all straight up. Uh, so what is that? Uh, cash. 47 mil. Not bad. Just figured I'd include that. I'm not going to do the, the, the fossils, but yeah, that is... Let me uh, let me figure out how much Numulite that actually is. Okay, so each one gives 100,000. So that'll be 10 million uh, Numulite with that. Uh, I did have two extra alchem uh, alch <laughs> alchemical alchemical Hydra heads. Now, I actually have more, but... Um, so as you saw in the last clip, we one of them was doubled. So that wouldn't technically count, but yeah, I did get an extra one. Uh, so let's go over what's in the loading bag. This is where the rest of the stuff is. Uh, obviously, you can see the, uh, the, the gear we've obtained, but then... Um, yeah, here we go. So this was before the loot change. I did get one Dragon Metal Shard. Um, we do have two more heads and then two extra claws. So yeah, I mean, we completed it. We got gloves. I did kill about 400 or so before gloves existed, but we did end up getting at least one pair of gloves. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, you can see all of the extra stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sell it all and just see what pure cash it'll be. Um, and then, yeah, we also got some Dark Stones. And um, we did get Crystal Keys. Before it was Crystal Keys, it was actually... Mega Crystal Keys, so we also got those as well, so that's pretty nice, um, but we'll sell all that stuff and see how much pure cash we get. Alright, so we sold everything, we kept the keys, obviously. 446 mil cash, pure cash. Um, three lances slash uh, claws. 
five heads. One of them is kind of excluded, but yeah. And then one pair of gloves. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. I don't really know what this video... I mean, this video is just really just the loot, right? That's what we wanted to see. Um, as far as tips, I think I showed some. And as far as what I say, it's worth it. Yeah, if you want this kind of stuff. Obviously, this is like the best dragon killing gear. So if you plan to kill more dragons, go for it. And I think um, you could probably sell it for a nice chunk. I'll probably do something with these heads component-wise. And I'll, you know, t clean it all up. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you, what you, what you think. See ya.